Have you been noticing the headlines lately? World heading towards economic collapse. Here, world faces lost year as policymakers sleepwalk towards fresh crisis, warns IMF. The world is sleepwalking into a fresh crisis as investors start to lose faith in policymakers' ability to revive the global economy. That's according to the International Monetary Fund in its bluntest warning to date on the cost of policy and action, the IMF said financial and economic stagnation could take hold unless governments prevent a pernicious feedback loop of fragile confidence, weaker growth, low inflation, and rising debt burdens from forming. We all know that this is a deliberate collapse of the world economy. But the headlines I have been reading lately portend not a very nice near future. Panicked elite buying bomb-proof luxury survival bunkers to escape civil unrest disaster. RT video which I'm not going to post on my channel, but the company behind the construction of the sprawling complexes, Vivos, says the facilities are for the protection of high net worth individuals. Yes, because they have a lot of money. They're worth more. Hmm. Isn't it interesting how we have put the worth of an individual, we base it on how much money they have. But, yes, they protect these high net worth individuals in the event of apocalyptic style scenarios during which millions will perish or worse yet, struggle to survive as victims. Where will you go when pandemonium strikes? If you have money and have constructed a luxury shelter, that's where you will go. Another big facility, Europa One, located in Germany, has one of the most fortified and massive underground survival shelters on Earth, deep below a limestone mountain, and is safely secured from the general public behind sealed and secured walls, gates, and blast doors. I'll link below to these videos. But when you see the wealthy creating these shelters, you need to ask, why are they doing that? Do they know something is coming? Do they know civil unrest might be coming? Do they know disasters are coming? Absolutely. Absolutely. But more and more am I seeing these headlines. And of course the IMF is going to blame governments and governments are going to blame the World Bank and International Monetary Fund and everybody's going to be blaming one another, but it's all, it's all a cooperative effort to reshape the world into a new world order where every individual is enslaved. Don't believe me? That just means that you haven't done much research on what has taken place in the world today. The links are below.